from the Etika World Network here, and there's some big news in terms of characters for the Smash Brothers Ballot. Now, a lot of you dudes are actually telling me about this before, and it involves Banjo from Banjo-Kazooie and whatnot. Really big series on the N64. Now, Phil Spencer, who works with, well, pretty much one of the big head honchos at Microsoft, um, he basically made a tweet yesterday talking about the inclusion of Banjo as a possible character in Smash Brothers. And to be honest with you, even though I don't act like, uh, uh, you know what, let me put a disclaimer out there right now. I know absolutely nothing about Banjo. Banjo or Banjo, the series in general, simply because I never had an N64 when I was a young kid, you know? I didn't have an N64, I didn't have any console when I was young. The first console that I ever owned was a Sega Dreamcast. So, well, and a Game Boy Color, so I mean, hey, don't, don't, don't be mad at my ignorance because I was a poor bastard way back then. Anyways, um, in terms of Banjo being included, even though I don't have any connection with the character, it seems like a lot of people do because a trillion guys were telling me about this on Twitter yesterday. Ariel was the first one, and I have the tweet right here, actually. He just basically linked me to a screenshot, but um, the tweet was basically in response to somebody who asked um, Nintendo's holding a poll for the next Smash DLC. And Banjo is a popular choice. It would mean so much if you can get him in. And I know that Banjo is probably owned by Xbox now because I know the last big title that they had was on the Xbox. So I think that was in 2010 or 2008. One of those. Either way, um, Phil Spencer then replied saying, uh, I think it would be cool if Banjo was in the next Smash Brothers DLC. We worked with Nintendo on Rare IP before. There's no issues. So a lot of people actually got really hype about this to the point where now Banjo seems like he's going to be a really big candidate for DLC. Now, in terms of who my choice I'm saving that for a video, so look out for that one. It should be out soon, but I mean, I can see it working out. Banjo, he has a really strong running with Nintendo on the N64, and he's a really iconic character from a lot of people's childhoods, people in my age group understandably because, you know, the N64 was a really big console. Even though I never owned one, I did acknowledge how massive it was, and Banjo being included, by all means, why not? To be honest, only because I don't have a connection with the character, I wouldn't really care if he got in or not, but that's just me, you know, and I understand that. I don't mean any offense to people that want him in the game, but I just don't have any kind of connection to him, and I always thought he was a little bit of a weird character myself, too. But, you know, no bias. I can see the game working out. I mean, to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised that it, he hasn't been in the game in the first place, considering how big he was on the N64. It's a little strange that, you know, he wasn't even considered. Do we even hear Sakurai mention anything about Banjo before? Probably not, but I mean, because I, I would have heard of it. Either way, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments about Banjo being included. Is he, like, pretty much the candidate for the number one spot for the Smash Brothers roster thing? You know, the Smash Brothers ballot thing? I don't know. The Smash ballot has a lot of big names that have a lot of pull, and Banjo could definitely be one. He's, but you know, to be honest, I think there's characters that are maybe slightly more fitting, but like I said, I'll leave that for another video. Either way, he still is a strong candidate, and if he won, you know, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be happy, but I wouldn't be mad. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.